And so today we are heading up to a two bed, two bath that is standing at a size of 796 square feet perched right at the top floor. Isn't it wonderful to have uh, Marie Stella just right across? You can basically watch over your kids what time they end work. <laughs> right here at Bartley Residences with an asking price of $1.25 million. Uh, this is the most exhausting home tour, but it's good. It trains my lungs, but now I'm speechless. And we're going to share more in-depth with you as we head on to the home tour about why we think this is such a good buy, especially with six strong key anchor points to future-proof your exit plan. But in the meantime, stay tuned. Let's go. Right, so right now we are in this unit and the reason why we are putting on the mask is also because the cases have been rising so we just want to be mindful. So bear with us and we hope that the audio is clear while we bring you through the entire unit. Now if you have to bring your attention right to where this balcony is located, now this is actually overlooking towards the entire Bidadari estate. But perhaps let's give you a bit of introduction about Bartley Residences first. Now Bartley Residences, TOP in 2015. So there's still a very healthy balance of about 89 years left. We are located in District 19 and a very interesting thing about this project is that just right across the street that will bring us towards District 13 and that also means that District 13 is at the start of the RCR zoning. Now the beauty about being in this particular sweet spot is that we are still within the pricing zone of the OCR but yet you are kind of within the close proximity towards the RCR area itself and I think that is what a lot of investors and buyers have been looking out for for this particular sweet spot. Now coming back to Bartley Residences, there are a total of 702 units, 3 amongst 1 bedder all the way to a 4 bedder. Now for this configuration, we are standing at a 2 bed 2 bath configuration which accounts to about 19% in Bartley Residences. Now for 2 bedder, there are predominantly 2 different types of configuration. One is such that you have the enclosed kitchen but of course for that kind of layout, you have a bit of angular foyer area which is great if let's say you are someone that prefers privacy but otherwise you can always go for this option which is more regular in nature but of course this comes with an open concept kitchen. We're going to share a little bit more with you in terms of the renovation later on as we move on. Now there are a couple of blocks right here in Bartley Residences but what we want to bring to your attention is that this particular stack that we are standing at right now is located right at the corner of the development itself and the beauty about being right at this stack as well as this block also means that you have direct access towards the side gate which will then lead you through a sheltered walkway all the way right up to Bartley MRT Station. Alright, so just to give you a little bit of introduction about where we are, Bartley Residences is located right along the driveway from Lorong Hausan and uh, as we look down here, this is the Bartley Road. Once again, you are within sheltered walkway just right from this block all the way out that will lead you towards the Bartley MRT Station. Once you're on Bartley MRT Station, which is on the Circle Line, that will bring you towards Serangoon, which you can then transfer to the Northeast Line and then few stops down on the other side, that will bring you all the way down towards McPherson, which you can transfer to the Downtown Line and all the way down towards Pai Leba, where you can transfer to the East-West Line. Now the beauty about being in this location is that you are being anchored by six strong anchor points. Firstly, we are located just right within close proximity towards the MRT station. I think as we evolve few years down the road, we all know that the MRT network is going to increase significantly and I think that is even more important to position our units to be right within close proximity towards the MRT station. That will kind of future-proof in terms of an exit plan. Now the second point that we want to bring across your attention is of course the schools that are being right within 1km zoning of your location because as we all know schools has always been a very strong anchor point in terms of the residential property demand and we are within 1km to two schools namely Maristella Primary School as well as Cedar Primary School and I think having these two schools right within the vicinity also means that there are going to be very buoyant activities uh, over the next couple of years. Alright so enough introduction why not we kickstart the home tour right now. Alright, so we're going to start off right from the living area first. Of course, you have the balcony that is adjoined towards the living area. You can do out some decking, install a zip track just to enclose up the space and you are being flanked by four panels of sliding door. That's going to allow a lot of natural sunlight that's coming into the unit. Pretty good distance away wall to wall for a two bed, two bath configuration. I would say this is definitely considered something to be luxurious and you can even fit in like an L-shaped sofa seater. This can easily accommodate up to a four to five seater and if let's say you want to increase more storage space, you can do so right along at this section of the wall. Right now, this is kind of like a blank canvas and as we all know right now, renovation costs have already increased by about 20%. I think it's wise to just buy furniture, spruce up the place just to make the whole place look very cozy.
Once again, we mentioned that this particular configuration is more of an open concept kind of kitchen. Now, all this countertop space as well as the peninsula has all been designed right from day one for this two-bay two bath. This comes with a two-burner cooker, hood and hob, as well as oven. And I'll say that the countertop space is pretty generous. This is like a U-shaped kind of format. And let's say you are someone that does heavy cooking, you can easily enclose this up with glass panels. You are going to be able to do your heavy cooking, but yet not compromising on the amount of sunlight that can actually bust into the entire living as well as dining. The fridge space can even go slightly bigger and taller if you would like. So I think for this kitchen you have ample or storage space because your top and bottom cabinets pull out drawers and the washer and dryer is all tucked neatly Now, of course, some of the things that you might want to do is if let's say you would like to increase your countertop space but use the additional countertop space to double up as your dining table what you can then do is to make a movable island countertop where you can easily use that as an additional dining table right along at this section when you have guests coming over you can then use that as an additional countertop but otherwise if you do not need it you can always tuck along at this section of the wall if you need to right so i think why not we check out the bedrooms first and then we'll talk more in terms of the pricing analysis but in the meantime let's check out the master bedroom Now moving on to the very first bedroom, now the master is located in this position and I think the moment you step in here, you will be greeted with three huge panels of windows that is overlooking towards Bartley Road. The size of the master is pretty decent, especially for the projects that are still having a balance of about 89 years. And for this master, you have the wardrobes that are tucked towards this corner, huge two panels of pull-out wardrobes that is fronting right directly in front of your master on seat, which I think is great because this makes the entire flow very smooth. The moment you step out, you will then reach your wardrobe area and then your bedroom is located right towards this corner right now this is currently fitted with a queen size and you still have plenty of space to move around cables have all been done all you need to do is probably just to install the tv console right here to enjoy your tv just right before you sleep and now if let's say you want to increase your storage space you can do so right along this section of the wall now because we are located right at the top floor at level 17 you also get to enjoy this kind of unblocked views as we head towards the master ensuite master ensuite is definitely generous in size you have brava sanitary fittings that is done here bottom shelving that has already been installed of course if you want to increase more storage space you can do so just to remove this panel of mirror you can install this kind of uh, cabinets right along here and i think the ventilation windows also boast the same view towards this unblocked view so i think it's quite an enjoyment for you to take a shower and overlook towards the beautiful unblocked view let's check out the second bedroom as well as the common bathroom now coming over to the next bedroom now you have the home shelter tucked along here which is great Stow away all your clutter. I think in terms of the space and size, this is definitely still considered luxurious. Definitely big enough to accommodate for a two bed, two bath type of configuration. And you have this common bathroom that is tucked away at this corner, decent in size, and I think the condition is still very well kept. Bottom cabinets have been provided, and all this comes with Brava sanitary fittings. Moving on to the second bedroom, I think second bedroom is very functional in terms of the shape and size. No wasted space and uh, of course this also comes with the additional window pane that overlooks towards the same view as your living as well as your master. You can still fit in a super single size for this common bedroom and let's say if you need to have a work from home situation, you can easily install those kind of drop down table. You can still function your work from home right there at the second bedroom. Right, so let's take a closer look at some of the two beta pricing right here within the Bartley Enclave and we're going to point out some key disparity right here if you were to consider a two bay two bath in Bartley residences. Now just right within the vicinity you have Botanic at Bartley, Bartley residences itself, Bartley Ridge and of course the new up and coming new launch at Bartley View and the current entry price for Bartley View is already approaching towards the 1007 to 1008 PSF mark. Of course, few years down the road, once the project crosses the seller stamp duty, there will be the very first period where the transaction will start to clock in and then of course, once it reaches its TOP period, that's probably going to be another couple of years down the road. We believe that the owners will definitely want to hit somewhere that is closer towards the 1009 to 2000 PSF mark and in relation to the price behavior at Bartley View, we'll also be having the same kind of price trend for Bartley residences that is tagging right along closely towards Bartley. View. As we bring your attention right over to the other side at Woodley and Martin, you will then have two condo developments right there which is Park Colonial as well as Woodley Residences. Of course, Woodley Residences, they are integrated in nature which also means that in terms of the price, they will definitely command a premium pricing. And just right opposite the road, you will then have Park Colonial. And most recently for a two-bader at Park Colonial, they are already transacting at $1.3 over million dollars and that is only right at the starting phase and we believe that as the years goes by once the TOP reaches and when more owners start to exit from Park Colonial we do definitely see the price to inch up towards a 1.4 region for a 2 beta right there and once we see this kind of price trend 
that is when the disparity starts to kick in because you are not only having the disparity right from Bartley view, you will also have another disparity which is for the projects that are located within Woodley MRT station itself. Of course, for projects that are within the Woodley MRT vicinity, the projects right there will also benefit from the convenience that comes along with the Woodley Mall that is going to be part of the integrated developments right there at Woodley Residences. So at this point of time, you might be thinking, hey, what are some of the strategies that you can adopt to buy into this 2 bay 2 bath at 1.25 at a size of 796? Should you buy for your own stay or should you buy for investment? Uh, let's just take a look at some of the strategy that we can propose to you. Firstly, because this unit is currently on rental right now and uh, this is currently a two years rental, you can easily purchase this with tenancy, let the rental continue until the tenancy ends in the next two years, use the rental rate to offset your interest and uh, let the inflation work towards your favour. Once the two years is up, you can then have the option to renew again, uh, thereby using this as a pure investment property because you are currently having a tenancy which is great and then not forgetting that we are also within close proximity to the business hub that is at Tai Seng as well as Pai Le Bar and we believe that you will not be short of tenant pools for this 2 bedder right here. Now if you don't know if let's say you are keeping this purely on a full rental mode, you can easily still continue to rent out for the next 3 to 4 or even up to the next 5 years mark. What's going to happen at the 5th year mark is that some of the HDB clusters would have already approached its MOP and that is when you will then have the first group of HDB upgraders that might buy into your 2 bedder right here. Now that's key point number 1. Number two is that you will then start to have this disparity that will start to increase over the years because there is also the time when Bartley View will start to have a few transactions that will already clock in. Disparity number two is that you will then start to see healthy transactions start to take place right there at Woodley where you have Park Colonial as well as Woodley Residences. At the fifth year mark, you can then start to decide whether you want to exit or you can then start to consider whether you want to move in here, stay a couple of years, enjoy the space and if let's say you are family with kids, you want to enroll your kids into Maristella or Cedar Girls, you can definitely use this address but otherwise you can stay put for this place, enjoy the connectivity. Few years down the road, when we are approaching towards the 10 years mark, there is also the point of time when Paya Lima will start to take shape. Of course, at that point of time, we are approaching towards the 78 and 79 years mark. If you have to take a look at some of the examples at Spring Bloom, Sun Glaze, or even Central Grove for projects that are within close proximity to the MRT station, we believe that all these are the good hedge and even for these projects that are currently in the 70 years kind of balances range right now, they are still relatively commanding a strong premium. Of course, that will then ease into your exit strategy in time to come. Now coming back to the third anchor point is one of the strong points that PLB have always emphasized which is the HDB upgraders because if you haven't already been following our channels you also realize that HDB upgraders forms the largest pool of condo buyers if they were to upgrade and just right across the street you will have 8 HDB clusters they are right in the Bidadari essay and I think that is definitely one very strong point to look into when you want to buy into a condo development right here. Now the fourth point that we want to take note is that we are supported by some of the new launches right within the vicinity because as we move down the road, there will be Bartley View and that's going to be the new up and coming new launch that's going to sprout up right along here and as we move right on towards the Woodley area, you will also have two new launches such as Park Colonial as well as Woodley Residences and of course Woodley Residences, they are integrated in nature and once Park Colonial and Woolley Residences start to clock their first few transactions, that will basically set a new benchmark and when there are new benchmarks right over there, that will also mean that you have a bit of price disparity. We're going to touch a little bit more in terms of the pricing later on. Now the fifth anchor point that we want to touch on is that we are within close proximity to the Paya Lima Business Hub uh, because just a few stops down that will bring us towards Paya Lima MRT station where there are new offices right over there and that will essentially form some of your tenant pool if you were to rent this particular 2 bed 2 bath out. Now last but not least, the talk of the town is the close proximity towards the Paya Lima Air Base and 10 years down, once Paya Lima Air Base starts to make its move out of the Air Base, that will basically change the entire demographics right along here and of course the entire blueprint for the Paya Lima Air Base is still not yet finalised but once it does finalise, we do definitely see a huge upsurge in terms of the rejuvenation. Now for amenities, because we are located right here in District 19, which is considered to be a mature estate, you have amenities such as the next mall, Breadtalk HQ, which is about 5 minutes drive away, PLQ Mall, that is about 10 minutes drive away, and of course the up and coming Woodley Mall, that is located right there at Woodley MRT Station. Now for some of the weekend activities, because we are located right within the Bidadari Estate, you can then leverage onto the up and coming facilities that are going to be sprouted along here. One of them is of course the Alcaf Lake. There is a man-made lake 
and you can head over there over the weekend, cycle along with your families and friends. And just right next, adjacent towards the El Lake, you also have the Bidadari Park. That is basically a huge park where you can go over there with your family and friends over the weekends. For facilities within the Bartley residences, it comes with lab pool, aqua pool, spa pools, kids pool, and various courtyard that are scattered around the projects. And last but not least, you have the existing tree that are within the tree protection zone right here within Bartley residences. Alright, so we come to the end of the home tour right here at Bartley Residences. Just to give you a little bit of recap, two bed, two bath at the top moon's floor with this gorgeous view right here that is standing at the size of 796 square feet. Asking price is at $1.25 million with six strong key anchor points that will future-proof in terms of your exit strategy. And if you like what you've seen, do get in touch with our listing team. Subscribe to our channels on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, as well as TikTok. My name is Josh Payne from Broin Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. Yeah, once my Lima Airbase move out, the C-130 will not be flying over here. And uh, in the army, there's this song, C-130, rolling down the streets. All right, coming back to here. You know, if they forget to bring a textbook, you can ask them to come back up here, get a textbook before they head back to the classroom. So I think all in all, <coughs> so I think all in all, not just, so I think all in all, you can also, so I think all in all, you can, so I think all in all, being, so I think all in all,